Hello everyone and welcome to Lancelot's Nerd Corner, where I'm proud to present another six scale figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at Peacemaker by Hot Toys, and I'm really glad to be giving you my honest and detailed account of the figure. The first thing I want to note is there's actually no unhelmeted head sculpt where we can see John Cena's full likeness. However, I don't think this is a big deal though because the helmeted head sculpt is absolutely tremendous. The helmet itself is sculpted very well with essentially every detail being accurate to the show. The size and proportions are spot on, especially the way it fits on the head, and it's painted very shiny, as if freshly polished, which sells the look of the metal very well, even though it's just made of plastic. Although, the shininess also means that fingerprints will be very visible, but they can be rubbed away with a damp microfiber cloth. As mentioned earlier, you can't see the whole face, but the likeness from what is shown is quite good. The proportions of the eyes, nose, and lips are spot on and are aided by a few wrinkles here and there. The only minor critique I have is that I think the chin and jaw are a bit too wide, whereas John Cena's is a little slimmer in real life. The paint app is also fantastic as you can see visible skin texturing and even a little bit of skin shading that helps to make it look very lifelike. Now the helmet actually splits in two and comes with an interchangeable helmet. It's virtually identical to the stock helmet except it's completely silver. Removing the front half reveals the rest of the head sculpt, which does give a better glimpse of the likeness as a whole. And removing the back half reveals the separate rolling eyeballs. The system should be familiar to regular Hot Toys collectors, but if you aren't, simply insert this black plastic tool into the sockets and move the eyes around. The faceplate, which is attached magnetically, can also be swapped out with an angrier open mouth expression. There's a bit of glossiness on the teeth and tongue to really help add realism. And you can even take it a step further by using this 1 6 scale tongue to magnetically attach to the open mouth expression, and in the process create a truly standout and unique head sculpt. Now let's move on to the figure itself, starting with the body, which is a one of a kind custom developed silicone body to match John Cena's muscular physique. It has very well sculpted and defined muscles, especially the biceps and triceps. There are also details of subtle vein work and muscle shading, and when you pair that with the very lifelike skin texturing, you get a seamless body that's even more realistic than others on the market like the Fison bodies. However, it's important to note that unlike the Fison bodies, it's just the arms that are silicone on this figure, as the torso and legs are still solid plastic. The silicone arms allows for a wide range of motion on the elbows and shoulder joint. However, there is a risk of the silicone drying out or cracking over time, especially in hot climates. So it may be worth investing in a little silicone hydration fluid. The figure as a whole also feels heavier than your average Hot Toys, partly because of the arms, but also because the torso is so big and wide. And lastly, speaking of big and wide, oh my god. I think, I think this is it. This is the biggest booty in 1-6 scale I've ever seen. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I uh, got distracted. Let's move on to the figure's costume, starting with that bright red shirt, which is made of a soft and stretchy cotton fabric. It's also surprisingly quite thin, and because it's tailored incredibly well, it's accurately very tight fitting to the body. And overall, it's great for articulation as you can move the arms all around without too many large ugly creases popping up. There are also some nice details of stitching seams going down the torso and around the shoulders, which are accurate to the on-screen costume. There are blue panels of soft rubber on the sides, the sleeves, and the upper chest, which helps to provide different textures to the look of the costume and even a different tactile experience when you're handling the figure. And smack in the middle is that bright yellow dove of peace, also made of rubber. It's painted very weathered, with lots of shading on and around the symbol. And lastly, on both traps are a series of silver buckles. The gloves are a touch lighter shade of blue than the rubber panels on the shirt, and I do think the sculpt work could have been improved. Because while the quality of the sculpt is good, it's not quite an accurate look. 
In the show, the gloves are made of a leather material, and the way the texture is sculpted on the figure makes the gloves look like very, very dried out leather. I think a more smoother look and a bit of glossiness on the paint finish would have helped. They also do move around a bit, so you may want to occasionally pull them down to have them closer to the hands. Speaking of which, the figure comes with six hands, including a pair of fist, relaxed, and weapon holding gestures. They are the standard rubbery Hot Toys hands, although these ones are a little bit stiffer, and they're meant to look like blue leather gloves, so they don't have too many details other than that sculpted creasing on each glove that adds realism. You might also notice one of the weapon holding hands conspicuously resembles a trigger finger, like it's meant to hold a gun. <laughs> don't worry, we'll get to that. The belt is the same shade of blue as the rubber panels on the shirt, and it's made of the same soft rubber. There is a shiny silver buckle in the middle, and on the right side are four holsters for extra magazines, the silencer, and a radio. However, as far as I'm aware, the silencer is the only removable accessory. And unfortunately, the holsters themselves have the same issue as the gloves with that over-textured appearance. The pants are a tan color and the same material and texture as the shirt, but thicker. And again, this fabric helps to prevent ugly creasing, but the tight tailoring might restrict articulation. There are a couple of details like the ribbing on the knees and more rubber panels on the sides. It also has these multiple layers of fabric, which gives sort of a three-dimensional look to the pants. On the right side is a blue holster that holds Peacemaker's pistol, and while it's not listed or marketed as an official accessory, it can be removed. There's this small piece of rubber in between the trigger that's preventing you from pulling it out. However, there are a few ways I've seen that you can get it loose. What I personally did was use a small X-Acto knife and just very slowly and carefully cut the piece of rubber off. Obviously, there is a risk of scratching the gun and the holster, so be very, very careful if you're going to do it this way. It really isn't too difficult as the piece of rubber is already pretty soft, but again, just take your time. The firearm itself is meant to be a Desert Eagle, but with a comically long extended barrel. And it has all the same details on the real life firearm. The barrel, the indented lines above the handle, and even the shape of the trigger guard, just to name a few. It's painted silver with a white handle that has the Dove of Peace symbol, and also has subtle splotches of dirt and paint chips all around, for a weathered appearance. Lastly, the boots are black and made of a rubbery material, and are sculpted really well. I especially love the way the creases are sculpted at the back, and the paint app has a glossy paint finish to help sell the leather look. I only wish the boots were split cut, for even more posing options with this awesome figure. Now that we've gone over the entire figure, let's take a look at some accessories the figure comes with. It comes with the interchangeable helmet, interchangeable faceplate, and six hands that we already covered, as well as a display base, eagly, a sword, an axe, and a silencer. The display base is the standard rectangular Hot Toys base, and the surface has a very dirty, ragged American flag with a cool holographic overlay of the character, eagly, and the character symbol. The Peacemaker show logo is near the bottom and on the nameplate. And lastly, the display base uses a standard crotch grabber. Eagly is so fantastic, it almost feels like more than just an accessory, like it's another figure. The way the feathers are sculpted so intricately and layered on top of one another gives it a truly 3D appearance instead of just a simple paint coat. There's even some articulation on the head as it can swivel side to side. The wings are also swappable with a pair that's spread out. And by the way, the beak and claws are a bit pointy, so do be a bit careful. I only wish there was a way to have him grabbing the figure's outstretched arm. The sword is sculpted with lots of nice details, especially the cross guard, which is meant to look like a dove. I also like the sculpted texture spiraling down the handle, and there's even a bit of detail on the pommel. It's nicely weathered all around with grime and dirt and splotches on the blade. However, I do think the blade itself could have been painted with a bit more of a polished finish, as it doesn't quite have that metallic shine that would prevent a more plasticky look. The axe has the same shortcomings in the paint finish, although it makes up for it in the sculpt work. The axe head has a wicked shape, and the three dubs of peace carved through it make it even more recognizable. 
The handle has a rib design with another dove symbol on either side. Lastly, the silencer is a very straightforward accessory without any real notable features. However, you may notice a peg, so yes, it can be used on the gun to make it even more comically long. Absolutely perfect for the character. Even though the original prototype of this figure faced a lot of backlash, Hot Toys reworked it into something truly deserving of praise. This figure represents Hot Toys at their best in almost every department. The tailoring and costuming, the head sculpt, the accessories, and especially that custom seamless body. So if you're a fan of the Peacemaker show or are just looking for an awesome addition to a DC collection, I have no doubt this figure will blow you away. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this review helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.